At the top tonight, the community got the chance to hear from officials with electric car giant Tesla for the first time tonight at, tonight at a public hearing on a tax abatement agreement being considered by Nueces County. Yeah, that agreement could pave the way for Tesla to bring a planned lithium battery refining facility to Nueces County. Our Bill Church will join us now with more on what we've learned from tonight's meeting. Bill? And it is important to remember that this proposed refinery is not a done deal. In fact, Tesla officials said tonight they are also considering other sites outside of the country. While we learned a few more details about the plans, a few folks who raised environmental concerns feel they left with unanswered questions. This is the possible site Tesla is interested in building its lithium hydroxide refining facility here off Highway 77 between Robstown and Driscoll, a factory said to be the first of its kind in the country. We're excited about the opportunities that high paying jobs can bring in a new technology, not the same old, same old, uh, but you've got to make certain that, you know, you hear from the company. Area leaders were on hand to listen to Tesla's presentation, including Robstown Mayor Gilbert Gomez. He is in support of the $365 million Tesla plant, saying it will bring continued growth to the area and an estimated 150 permanent jobs and an additional 250 construction jobs. This will bring other companies to this area. It'll bring other people that want to establish their companies here. Reps from Tesla say the plant is a critical step in sustainable energy and they would eliminate the typical process of creating a lithium battery in an effort to limit pollution. How can we make it cleaner? How can we make it less water intensive? How can you less, use less acid? How can we use less electricity? Still, environmental groups had questions. We need tax abatements. Oh, where, where's your waste going to go? Where's your mercury going to go? Will you require water from the city of Corpus Christi? For this facility, the needs are fairly small uh, compared to an industrial facility, um, many industrial facilities that exist here. So what we've been told from the Water Authority, and I don't have the facts and figures of exactly what is, is needed, but we're happy to get that to you. For the water waste, we treat and process over 90% of that water on site to be able to reuse it. The other big question centered around hiring local. What is the average hourly wage for those jobs? <clears throat> the average salary is 82000 a year in addition to the benefits. By the end of the two-hour hearing, one of the biggest concerns is that people still felt like they were missing information. Details county leaders hope the Tesla reps can bring back. What I liked is they said they are willing to bring forth more details, specifically about the chemical process. The next hearing is set for January 4th. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Thank you, Bill, for that.